Hey guys, this is Eve with Scrapbooking with me, and we got in, oh, about nine or ten boxes today, so I wanted to show you some of the things that have come in, and I know I have lots of people who say, please do the haul videos because I love to see everything up close and personal. I know it's a little bit different when you see it in photos than when you see it actually in, which this is not actually live, but you know what I mean. It's a little bit different when you see it that way. I know when I see people use things on videos, it lets me know if I need that product or not, which I need all of it. You know that. We all need it. But anyway, we got in lots of Bow Bunny. Bow Bunny has released lots of their CHA items, and we got in a ton of Bow Bunny. Here is the Bow Bunny Stickable Stencils, and this is the three out of this box. Now, I'm I'm only opening one box at a time and checking it off and putting it in inventory, so there's probably more in the other boxes. This is lo Lots of Love, and if you have never used these stickable stencils, they're absolutely wonderful. I have the large ones, the 12 by 12s and I love them. All you have to do is take this off, put it on your product, it sticks down to your project whatever you're doing put your use your um, modeling paste or whatever when you get when you pull it up it pulls up very easy it doesn't pull your paper or anything away then you just take it and wash it off in the sink with a little water you can use a little soap if you want it water usually rinses it right off and then you just stick it back down to your little um, piece of paper that comes in this. They stick over and over and over again. I've been using mine for over a year now and I've not had any issues with them at all. What I like is you can, these you can use on the, around a box or something like on the corner of a box so they'll bend so you can go around. I love that part of it. So these are really wonderful. Okay, I'll, this one, again, this one is lots of love. Let me straighten my camera up. Sorry about that. This one is Oh My Stars. And as you can see, it's lots and lots of stars. And they're shaped differently. This one is called Serenity. Love the bamboo shoots. Isn't that pretty? And then the stencils stencils the dies I mean that was stencils can you tell that I'm a little bit overworked right now <laughs> I told my hubby I need a vacation he said no we got too many orders to get out but anyway this is the little bike with the grass that is really cute and I, I've used Bow Bunny dies for a long long time and they are really really good dies this one is the, I think it tabs. This one is Love, Love Squared Dies. I'll get that out in a minute. Love Squared Dies. And then this one is Picture This. And this one is Branch Out. So really pretty dies. We also got in the Art Impressions stamps and dies. These are so cute. I've got to show you the stamps first. So let's go with the stamps. Okay, this one is the Duck Stackers. Is that not cute? There, you, There's your stamp. It has the saying and the duck separately so that you can use your saying, you know, in a different place if you want. They're really good quality rubber um, die, uh, stamps. I got dies on my brain now. Rubber stamps. <clears throat> Excuse me. This one is the Turtle Stackers. This one is the Dog Stackers. And this one is the Mini Raccoon Spinner Set. It's 
it's got the little raccoon and it also has the dies that go with it. Got the little dies there too. And this one is the mini bunny spinner set. This would be great for um, Easter. Isn't that cute? Look. <laughs> it's got the die. It's the stamps and the dies. And this one is called Love You Very Much, I think is the name of it. Mini Bear Spinner Set. <coughs> Excuse me. Here again. And this one is Mini Cake. This one is the Mini Squirrel. Okay. Right. I had some people who asked about this watercolor uh, coloring book, so I wanted to show you what it looks like on the inside. A lot of people, you know, they don't open them up and show you, so it's kind of hard to tell. This is the paper, and it is a good quality um, watercolor paper. So you could color these and then put them in frames and put them up in your house or, you know, let your kids color on them, whatever. But I think it's a very nice, very nice paper. And it's probably not the top quality, but it's, it's nice. It has a little bit of texture to it. So I'm just going to let you see these. This would be a very good book to practice your coloring skills. Um, do art projects for, you know, friends and family. Be a very good book for that. I like that. Follow your heart and dream. It's really pretty. Wouldn't it be fun to do that? wood in the background. <laughs> That's cute. Sewing forever, housework whenever. So we can put crafting forever, housework whenever. That's about the way it is around here. Do what you love. Blessed are those who give without remembering and take without forgetting. Very good. I like that quote. These are really nice. I may have to get me one of these. You can see some of these framed, colored and framed. That'd be really pretty. I like that. Everything you go through grows you. Isn't that true? That is so true. Live a wonderful life. Be your own kind of beautiful. So true. Believe in yourself. I love you to the moon and back. I have to get that now because this is the saying that my little granddaughter and I say to each other before we always do our little heart and then we say love you to the moon and back. I love that. I will have to get this book now just for that. But that is it. There are, these are 8 by 10 and it's 24 sheets in here. So that's a really good deal. Really good deal. Okay, now we also have, we got in some Tim Holtz mica sprays. We got those in. And let's see. Pearlescent Pigment Spray. I think these are, let's see if I can see a color on these. Antique Bronze, Brushed Pewter, and Tarnished Brass. So that's those. Okay, that's all I've got out of this box. So I will go on to another box. Oh, right before I go on and show you, I also got in the my containers for my Avery L. 
um, stamp storage pockets. I ordered these from Amazon and I will have a link below if you're interested in them. They're just uh, real hard acrylic trays. I love these. And your, these Avery L fit right down in there. And I know that there's lots of people that are organizing their stamps this way. Jennifer McGuire is the one that I watched and had hers this way. And then you can label the tops of your Avery L um, little storage containers. And so you know what your what stamps you know you have in what area, and then you can put a divider in there. So mine were just they were in these pockets, but they were just kind of all in a box. So I've got these to organize my stamps in. So I really like that. They have a little pull tab right here if you put it, put them in you know some kind of um, drawer or storage shelf or whatever. So I'll leave a link below for these. I got these in today from Amazon. They're not expensive at all for the quality that they are. But anyway, I will be back with more videos and more products to show you in a little while. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.